friends, in today's video, we are going to be adding an event in our Google Calendar. Super easy, let's do it right now. So I'm currently looking at my Google Calendar. This is gonna look very, very similar depending on which platform you're using. I'm actually using the Google Chrome browser. And in order to do this, you can just go to calendar.google.com. Make sure you're signed in over in this area. And then you can see we have all of our available calendars that I've created over here on the left. So I'm underneath the Scott's work uh, calendar right now. And what we wanna do is just add a simple event. So you can see that is currently uh, March 18th at the time of this video. And so the first method that we can use is to actually just come up here and hit the create button. Now this is going to default to the specific day that it currently is. And uh, let's go ahead and hit create. Now, as you can see, we automatically have our create a sub menu that pops up here with all of our different options. And again, that's gonna create it at this specific time where actually it's gonna to default to the closest coming half hour. And again, this is what happens when you just hit that default create button. I'm gonna close this out. And what I'm gonna do instead is I'm going to choose a date in the future that I want to create on. And let's say we wanna have something come up here for Monday. I'm just gonna click on this. And as you can see, a default menu comes up. This time it's for the entire day. So again, that's just a little bit different when you use that click button versus the create button over here. So now that we have our little menu option, we can actually create a new event. So let's call this test event. And then you can set it as an event, you can set it as a task or a reminder, which is kind of nice. Let's stick with event. And then we can come down here, and again, this is defaulted to the entire day. So if we want it for a specific time, we can just come over here and click this little button. And obviously this allows us to pick a specific start time. So I'm gonna do 9 a.m. as a start time. It's automatically gonna to default to one hour. So if you'd like this to be a little bit longer, come over here, click this side, and then you can actually choose when you want your event to stop. So let's say 12 p.m. and make it three hours. Now again, if for some reason you want to come back and make it an all day event, all you need to do is click on this specific box. It'll default back to that full day. If I unclick it, we'll go back to the original three hour block. Now we have some repeat options down here. If you actually click on this little down menu, you have some defaults or you have a custom field. You can make this occur daily, uh, weekly on the Monday, uh, monthly on the fourth Monday, uh, annually, maybe for birthdays or things like that. Uh, every week. So it's some nice little repeat options. Uh, that way you're not having to put in this specific event every single uh, day if it's maybe a, a meeting that reoccurs. You can also add guests here. Just type in somebody's Gmail address or any other address where they can access uh, this specific calendar and add it to their calendar. Uh, that's really nice. You can actually add a Meet video conference. If you haven't used this, Google Meet is really awesome. That's basically their version of Zoom and it can be something that they can click on to do a video conference. You can also add a location, which is kind of cool. So let's say I want it to be in San Diego. Uh, you can see you can come over here and just click, or you can put in a very specific address. You can even open the maps uh, feature here and click on a specific location. Uh, you can also add a description or any kind of attachments that maybe uh, you or your coworkers are going to need to use. So that's pretty cool. Just make sure you are on your specific default uh, calendar. So you have some more options down here I can click on. And uh, you can see that you have options for your guests over here as well as a nice box where you can actually type in that longer description if you need to do that. Um, or add specific attachments. So again, really, really cool little features for doing a nice add event right here. Uh, let me go ahead and click the save button once you're through with all that. And as you can see, our event is now here. Friends, I hope that's helped. Again, that's a really, really basic overview of how to add an event onto your calendar. Lots of cool features there. Uh, if this has helped, hit that thumbs up button. Let's us know we're making helpful videos. And then you definitely might want to subscribe because we have a bunch more Google Calendar tutorials that we are currently making and those will be released really soon. Thanks so much for watching.